Hello and thank you for stopping by. In today's video I'll be showing you how to use and set up a variety of torque wrenches. In many of my videos I use torque wrenches to make sure that the nuts and bolts are properly tightened, giving me that peace of mind after every car repair. Torque wrenches come in a variety of sizes, the most common being 1 quarter, 3 eighths and 1 half, and also come in inch pounds and foot pounds applications. The only torque wrenches I've ever had to use and have purchased have been the 3 eighths and 1 half drives. And my 3 eighths drive is an inch pounds torque wrench while my half inch drives are foot pounds. And this third one is a digital electronic torque wrench. And this torque wrench I purchased mainly to torque head bolts which require specific angle tightening and degrees. Such as tightening a bolt to 22 pound feet of torque plus a 90 degree angle. When you torque a wheel you will know it reached a set torque value by the audible clicks you get back from the torque wrench. Which for wheels 100 foot pounds is the most common torque spec. So you might wonder what happens if you leave a wheel loose. Well here's an example of a wheel that was left loose and eventually broke the lug nuts and the wheel went flying. And this is my 3 8 drive inch pound torque wrench used mainly for smaller nuts and bolts. And this little gear that I'm spinning is a locking mechanism meant for adjusting or locking the torque value. And the way you set the torque value is by spinning the handle clockwise for a higher torque value or counterclockwise for a lower torque value. The highest setting this torque wrench can be set to is 1000 inch pounds and the lowest being 100 inch pounds. And right now our torque wrench is set to 100 inch pounds. And this vertical line is our indicator when it comes to adjusting a rotating handle. So on this torque wrench if you wanted to remove 5 inch pounds you'd want to rotate the handle counterclockwise. Each torque value has a jagged line next to it, and for the indicated torque value you want to focus on the lower part of the line connected to the vertical line. So as we rotate our handle dial clockwise we increase the torque setting by increments of 5s on this torque wrench. So as we rotate the handle clockwise we go from 100 to 105 to 110, 115, and so on. And here we are at 150. And if we continue rotating the handle to the right, we go from 150 to 155, 160, and so on. Leaving us at a setting of 150 plus 30 equaling 180 inch pounds. And that is how you adjust an inch pound torque wrench. Only difference between other brand torque wrenches will be the increments used. Based on my video so far, can you guys figure out what this torque wrench is set to? If so, please let me know in the comments. This is a click style torque wrench, meaning that once it reaches the torque setting, it does a click sound. And this next torque wrench that we'll be looking at is a half inch drive torque wrench. It also functions as a newton meter torque wrench, but it's not the standard I've ever had to use. And this torque wrench ranges from 25 to 250 foot pounds, or pound feet of torque, whatever you prefer to say. And that's what the other torque wrench, this one has a locking gear as well. This torque wrench is easier to do the adjusting on since the number is flush with the marking. If you notice on the 30, the marking is right at the 30. Unlike on the previous torque wrench, there was a jagged line to where the number begins. So adjusting it from 30 to 40 is quite easy with the increment adjustments of 1. And here's another cheaper price torque wrench which I mainly use to torque wheels. This one has an adjustment lock on the bottom which you rotate clockwise to lock into place after setting the adjustment. And you rotate counterclockwise to unlock. This torque wrench has a range of 10 to 150 foot pounds. So to make an adjustment of say 75 we first rotate the handle till we get to 70. 
And here we are at 60, so we got to rotate 10 more. And here we are at 70. So now all we got to do is rotate the handle till we add the 5. Just like that, leaving us at a 75 torque setting. And all we do is lock the bottom. And another tip, when storing a torque wrench, you always want to loosen the tension on the spring. It helps with the longevity of the calibration. A calibrated torque wrench makes sure that the torque settings remain accurate. It is also not recommended to loosen bolts using a torque wrench because exceeding the maximum torque settings can damage the calibration. For the loosen bolts, you always want to use a standard ratchet. And now on to our final digital torque wrench. Setting this torque wrench is a lot easier because it's all just digital inputs. But these torque wrenches do require four AAA batteries. And all you do is turn the power on and set the unit to the one you wish to use. And here we start at foot pounds, so you just adjust it up and down and set it to the required spec. And the next unit is angle for torque to yield bolts. You will have to set it on a flat surface so that the torque wrench finds position zero. And after it does that, you just set the angle which is required. And it also does inch pounds and newton meters. So say we got a torque of wheel to 100 foot pounds, we want to turn it on and switch it to foot pounds. And then we want to set the torque spec. And now we just want to input the 100 foot pounds. This torque wrench will beep and also light up orange when you're close and red when you reach the spec. And now here's a close up look. Now say we were going to do an angle spec, we just got to do the same and reach the angle input. And let it calibrate and input the angle. We'll go with a 25 degree angle for an example since we won't be using a torque to yield bolt. And all we do is rotate till we reach the required angle and it beeps. And that just about does it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful and informative. Please like and consider subscribing.